ascent on a shuttle flight took eight and a half minutes. And lift off. Of it feels like a small elephant sitting on your, on your chest. And then once you get to orbit, the Earth is just an amazing view. When we're in low Earth orbit, we're going on once every 90 minutes. So you get 16 sunrises and sunsets a day. I mean, it's truly amazing. Long before astronauts experience the majestic views from space, before they feel the G-forces from a launch, they go through rigorous training. Today, that training is at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in the centrifuge operated by the 7-11th Human Performance Wing. The astronauts were visiting the centrifuge to test new suits and to gain first-hand knowledge of the physical demands space travel places on the body. The space shuttle was a very gentle G profile, uh, both upward and especially downward, where you actually would land very gently, like an airplane. With the new commercial vehicles, we're back in family with the Mercury, Gemini, Apollo era, where we actually had much, much higher G forces. And during those programs, we used centrifuge training, both for preparing the astronaut to feel those G loads and to work um, under them, to learn how to operate under them. With the new vehicles being back in family with these G-loads, we're basically uh, reviving that whole G-training aspect, and so every astronaut will, will start going down this path. So this is our first time to start spinning people with the G-loads of the new vehicles.